let's explore the Backstack and learn how to end an activity. The Backstack is an historical record of the user's live activities. Android records the user's running activities in the Backstack, automatically adds new activities to the Backstack as the user starts them, and removes activities when the user touches the Back button. Activities are stored in a stack to deliver last in, first out behavior. Touching the Back button returns the user to the previous activity. There are a few reasons why this navigation mechanism is built into Android. It's useful and relatively simple for developers, yet powerful enough for the needs of many apps. It's also familiar. Users already understand the patterns since the concept of Go Back appears in web browsers, file system navigators, etc. The activities in the Backstack may span multiple apps. They are not restricted to a single app. If an app allows the user to navigate to activities defined in other apps, then activities from both apps can exist on the Backstack simultaneously. Can you think of any examples of cross-app navigation in the standard Android apps? How about adding a new contact to camera, messaging to camera, or contact details to compose email or phone? Android pushes activities onto the Backstack automatically when you start them. You generally do not interact with the Backstack directly. Android manages it behind the scenes for you. The Back button automatically pops the Backstack and returns the user to the previous activity. The activity is removed from the Backstack and the action navigates the user to the newly exposed top activity in the stack. Activity provides a finish method that ends the current activity and returns to the previous activity on the Backstack. The effect is similar to the Back button in that the current activity ends and is popped off the Backstack. The user is navigated back to the newly exposed top activity on the stack. Suppose you have a source activity starting a target activity. Which activity typically calls finish, the source or the target? The target activity calls finish, i.e. the new one that got started by the source. An activity can call finish in cases where the behavior of the back button might be unclear to the user. In this example, we call finish when the user clicks cancel. You will rarely need to call finish. The behavior of the built-in back button is sufficient for many activities. But there are some cases where the behavior of the back button might not be clear to the user. For example, suppose you have an add new contact activity. If the user enters some data into your input fields and then touches the back button, what should your app do? Should it save the user's work or discard it? In ambiguous cases like this, it makes sense to provide a clearly marked button for one or both of those options, i.e. a save button and or a cancel button.